Okay, the next thing we're looking at is um, how to sketch with a phase shift. So basically we've got tan of x and we've got a phase shift here of plus um, pi on 4. Now, if we've got a plus, remember it's plus x means that we are translating to the left if it's plus. And this tells us how far. So we're moving everything across pi on 4. So our stock standard um, tan of x graph looks like this where it starts at 0, goes up um, at pi on 2 where it asymptotes, another intercept there is at pi, asymptote at 3 pi on 2, and then out at 2 pi. So what's going to happen is that this, um, that is going to cause everything to move across by um, pi on 4 to the left. So basically, this will move across pi on 4, this will move across pi on 4, and this will move across pi on 4, and finally this will move across pi on 4. So when we sketch it, it's going to look a little bit different to this. Basically, whatever it starts here at uh, pi on 4, that's pretty much where our graph is going to start. Um, and all of our things get shifted across. So basically to find this, we know that a uh, normal graph will um, there'll be an intercept there. So we can say that we've got 10, oh, sorry, terrible writing. Um, firstly, we'll look at our asymptotes. <coughs> So, we know that whatever we've got there has to equal pi on 2. So, x plus pi on 4 has to equal pi on 2. Which implies that x equals pi on 4. So, we're going to have our first asymptote at pi on 4. We know that our period, t, for a normal tan graph, is pi. But like we said, it's been moved across. So, we've got to say... So for our graph, it's going to be t equals pi minus pi on 4. So that ends up being 3 pi over 4. So that's, that's the information we need to start graphing. So we're going to have a period at uh, of 3 pi on 4. Or rather, that's where we're going to intercept. No, it's not going to be a period. That's where we're going to intercept. So we'll start off. We're going to start off a little bit high. So we're going to start off at about this point here. So whatever was pi on 4 gets shifted across. So everything gets shifted across pi on 4. So, and then for our, for our n, for our second intercept, which was a 2 pi, it's a 2 pi minus pi on 4, so that's being 7 pi over 4. So we can sketch that. So we're going to start at about here, and we're going to go up. And there's our first asymptote at pi on 4. And then from there, we're going to another asymptote there. And we'll calculate that in a second. And then we'll go to about there. So that is where we end at 2 pi. So this is at uh, 3 pi over 4. And this is at um, 7 pi on 4. <clears throat> now, notice coefficient of x is 1. So our period is still t over uh, t equals pi over 1, which is pi. So our period is still pi. It still takes pi for it to replicate itself. So between here and here, it's pi. It's 4 pi and 4. We go from 3 pi to 7 pi, 4 pi over 4. So that's what we've got there. But... Um, as for our asymptotes, we've got 1 at pi on 4, and we've got to add pi to that. So we've got an asymptote, like we said, at pi on 4, and then this is a plus pi, which is or 4 pi on 4. So pi on 4 plus 4 pi over 4, so we're with 5 pi over 4. <coughs> so here we've got pi on 4, and this one is at 5 pi over 4. So that's how we go about sketching a tan graph with a phase shift. So this tells us how far we have to move, either left or right. Um, we still have this, we identify the period the same way. Um, to find out the asymptotes, we let our whatever's inside the brackets equal pi on 2, solve for x. And then using that information, we can find where, it, um, where the other asymptotes are. And also for the x-intercepts, we, we know that we've got 1 at pi, so we take pi minus pi on 4. Um, so it becomes 3 pi on 4, 2 pi, and pi minus 7 pi on uh, pi minus, 2 pi minus pi on 4 to give us 7 pi on 4. So that's what we're seeing there. And then wherever we start, whatever our y value is that we start, 
that's going to be our y value there at the end. So here we have to say 1, our cycle ends here, and then our cycle ends there. Just starts off a little bit differently.